Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to simulate a wing and ground effect uh, in 2D in OpenFoam. So uh, this, uh, a ground effect vehicle uses a wing um, that flies just above the surface of the ground. Um, flying close to the ground um, allows you to have some higher efficiency than flying far away from the ground. Um, these kinds of vehicles uh, aren't really seen that often these days, but um, they sure have generated a lot of interest and do have attractive properties. So um, let's go over the case files for this tutorial. This is the open foam files. This is the mesh in Gmesh. And this is a pressure result with pressure contours that I'll show at the end of this video. So let's take a look at the mesh. Here is the whole mesh. Uh, these three boundaries here, these three sides will be of the free stream boundary condition in open foam. Um, this is the ground here. It'll be a moving ground, similar to the lid-driven cavity example. It'll have a velocity this way, equivalent to the free stream velocity. And uh, here's the wing. It's just a simple spline of data points, which I've taken from uh, airfoiltools.com. And uh, it's, it's using the B spline in uh, Jamesh. Uh, and, and then for the trailing edge, I just use a simple line. So this mesh is totally unstructured, uh, as you can see. Um, for a real, for real accurate uh, lift and drag figures, you want to use a boundary layer mesh. Um, this is just to show the boundary conditions necessary for a ground effect vehicle wing. Um, and yeah, you if you want really accurate simulations, you have to put a finer mesh here, probably. But yeah, so that's that's it for the boundaries. Um, so let's go ahead and generate the mesh. Okay, now let's convert the mesh. Okay, now let's modify the boundary file. The front and back will be empty since this is a 2D simulation. The ground will be a wall, although a moving wall. And this will be a free stream, so let's leave it at patch. And this will these will be a wall. Okay, now we are ready to run. So let's go into the case file and call our solver. As you can see, it's running smoothly. Um, so I've prepared the results of this run ahead of time. So let's go ahead and view that. So this is a pressure. This is the pressure field along with the pressure contours. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of interaction with the ground there. These uh, pressure contours hitting the ground, um, and uh, yeah. So as I said before, this wall is moving at the same speed as the free stream that the airfoil is in. Um, so um, in real life, this allows this wing to act more efficiently. And that's, that's one of the attractive properties of a ground, uh, ground effect vehicle. Uh, well, thanks for watching and happy foaming.